Hi there. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the Yoast SEO WordPress plugin to add meta titles and meta descriptions to the pages of your website. So if you watched the previous video, you'll know that the meta title is this and the meta description is the text underneath it and that you can tailor both of these to try and attract people to click through to your site rather than to anyone else's. If you don't do anything, Google will pick up, um, just copy from your site and display it here. So it's never gonna be blank, but it's much better to write something yourself. And so to do that, we're going to use a plugin called Yoast. So if I click on add new here in the plugins area of my site, and if you search for Yoast, You'll see it's the first one that comes up and you can see from this how popular this is. So this really is the most commonly used plugin for WordPress SEO. There's a lot more that you can do with Yoast than just meta titles and meta descriptions. We're going to explore it further in future videos. But for now, we're just looking at this one specific area. So I'm just going to install that. And you'll see that it will add a new um, SEO menu item to this menu here on the left hand side just as soon as I activate it. So here it is activated and you can see here there's a new area and there's a load of different things that we can do in here um, but for now we're not going to dig into that we're actually going to look at what this has added to our pages not just to pages to posts as well but we're going to use an example this about us page and if I click edit and go through to the back end of the page, you'll be able to see that at the bottom of the page here, I've got this whole extra section. So this video, and again, there's a lot of things that you can do in here. We'll look at them more in future videos. For now, the main thing we're interested in is how it enables you to edit the meta title and the meta description. And Basically, you would scroll down to the bottom, let me just get rid of that, scroll down to the bottom of your page, this is exactly the same on posts, and into the Yoast area, and the thing that you're interested in here is edit snippet, so that's going to enable you to edit this. So, if we think about the SEO title, this is what I was talking about, the meta title, and what this is saying is it's going to use this formula to build the SEO title. So if I don't write anything here, what it's gonna do is take the title of the page and then the page name, which might be the same, in which case it won't repeat it, but it could be different. Then a separator, so in this case, that's this hyphen here, and then it's gonna give the site title. And that might be fine, and in a lot of cases that probably will be fine, but you can take all of that out, and write something specific, or you could use parts of this and write something your, yourself for the other parts. So let's say I want to stick with About Us, but I don't want the site title. So I'm just going to delete site title and maybe delete the separator. Here are the variables that you can choose from. So you can have the site title, the title, the category. So if you were using blog posts and they had categories, you could put that in or the separator. But I want to actually write something. I'm going to put in a separator and write um, whatever I think is relevant here. WordPress trainers in Aylesbury. So that's just going to appear in Google search when somebody is shown this specific page, the About Us page. So this isn't across the whole site, it's focused on this specific page. And then in the meta description, as it says here, if you don't provide a meta description here, then Google will find a relevant part of your post and stick that in and hope for the best. So it's much better to write something yourself. So here I could write anything and stick in here if you want to so I can put the site title in or a separator or a category but I don't want to do that I want to write something myself so I could say oops. 
other locations. As I'm typing, you can see this bar at the bottom here is going from orange to green. So Google is saying, or Yoast is telling us, make sure that your meta description is long enough. Um, Google doesn't like it to be too short. And indeed, people who are looking at it generally will want more information rather than less information. There is a character limit on this. So if I keep typing, you'll see it goes back to orange and I can't uh, see any more what I'm typing. I'm just getting little dot, dot, dots here at the top. So you're looking to try and tailor it to be exactly the right length uh, or as close to the right length as you can. And essentially this is it. This is what you're gonna be doing. Going through every one of your pages and writing a unique title and a unique description for that specific page. You can preview how this might look. So the default is it's showing me how this is gonna look for mobile. If I click through to desktop, you start to get a sense of how that's actually going to look when it's in Google. So this is, um, as I said, a brief introduction just to meta titles and meta descriptions and how to add them in Yoast.